belt. This simple belt transmits a small electrical charge through the patient's upper torso. It's too small to feel, but when run through a computer algorithm, it shows precisely how much oxygen is getting into the lungs. Mechanical ventilation on one hand is life-saving, but on the other hand, mechanical ventilation per se is unphysiologic and um, can lead to secondary lung damage, so-called ventilator-induced lung damage. Combined with a CT scan of the patient's body, it's easy to see how much air is getting to the lungs. We measure regional distribution of ventilation. So we get an image, a bedside image, showing us directly where the air of each breathing cycle goes to the lungs. Armed with this information, doctors can avoid any respirator-induced lung damage. So the next step will be human clinical trials. And from the data we get there, we'll try to firstly validate our previous results and then also to contribute uh, to, to EIT in a sense that it will be applicable in, in a clinical routine so that we get standardized parameters. So far, the technology has only been tested on pig lungs, but the researchers hope their algorithm might become a standardized part of the bedside tech in hospitals around the world. Kevin Enix, VOA News.